here we are on the euro dollar 50 minute time frame and i have a violation trade setting up now those of you that see my videos in the past where i've done violation trades um, i don't get many of them uh, purely because over the summer the uh, the markets were not having momentum in them um, but this could be a trade that i get in and um, all i'm looking for really is if i go out to the 60 minute time frame we're looking for a momentum move and for the candle that breaks major structure to be a momentum candle a momentum candle for me is a big candle that sticks out like a sore thumb and here you can see it is and it has to close above the major structure level and just violate it with momentum and if i zoom out here you can see i've actually got two lines um, the green one and the blue one and you can see here it's been tested uh, one two three four times there two times there so in total six times that's been tested and this line just up here is the next level of structure where i'm looking for secondary targets so the trade itself as you can see we broke through it with momentum and what we're doing now is we're coming back into in between those lines which is our kill zone and all i'm looking for is a higher high higher close on the 15 minute time frame and this is setting up uh, as though it's going to be a very nice one <laughs> doesn't mean it'll win but it's setting up very very nicely we've got quite a deep retracement into uh, our kill zone here we've put in a, a pin bar if we can get a higher high higher close here and we don't just suddenly rally all the way up then uh, the risk is going to look like this and all we do is go five pips below the low below the lowest candle so that's 39 so it's going to put me at 34 so that's going to be there for the risk and we're playing for two targets here target one is going to be a retest up here and i need to make that green okay just let me go to the 60 minute time frame a second my targets are always based off the 60. So here we are, and it's the closes of the candles I'm after. So there. Oh, come on, why are you not working for me? Okay, and then target twos are going to be up here. okay i think because i drew this out on the lower time frame it's uh, not letting me adjust it to the right size but anyway um so that's it um, i'll drop back down to the 50 minute time frame i've got another five minutes to wait i cannot enter in the trade until the candle closes this is very important as much as i would absolutely love to enter in now so that i get a better risk reward um, i cannot i have to wait so um and again that comes down to the fact that we don't know how that candle will close it may just instantly turn and not be a higher high higher close so 13 pips of risk currently 423 so anyway i'll work that out when we come back and hopefully get filled okay and we've just got our fill now as you can see we've got the higher high higher close here on the 15 minute um didn't quite get as good an entry as i would have liked but um uh, typically on this style of trade a lot of the time you only get a one-to-one -one risk reward to target ones but it does give you a lot of scope to get involved for secondary tar targets and uh, that's really exactly what we're aiming here for um, if we can get a retest of the highs here then um, be quite happy to bank uh, half the profit and move on to um, secondary targets so just a little over a one-to-one -one there I'll set an alarm for this and see if we can come back and uh, get filled. And we're back. My alarm has just been triggered. We have come within uh, two pips of my target here. And I'm hoping that we can just rally up in the next couple of seconds so that we can see this thing hit. Move these over just so we can see the candles. Ooh, that's not good. We've passed it, but not taken. Uh, 
Okay, what has gone on there? Yep, we have passed it. That is very unusual. The trade is still valid for me. Um, especially on the euro dollar. Right, okay. So let me move to just below break even here. Um, we spiked past that by three pips. The spread on the euro dollar currently is 0.1. What? Well, there you go. I'd love to tell you the name of the broker I use, but I can't. So we'll come back and see if this um, gets up there again and manages to get target ones filled. Okay, we're back again. My new alarm has once again been triggered. Uh, we haven't actually this time um, gone past the line though. Um, really hoping just to record this. Uh, we've got a minute to go until the 15 minute candle closes. Three pips past the target on the euro dollar with a spread of 0 0.1 and it didn't take. You just know if you go and say to the broker, here's the, uh, here's the proof, they'll just turn around and say, volatility at that microsecond, uh, it was four pips. It, that just isn't the case. It's never more than half a pip with a euro dollar with my broker. So all I can do is fold my arms, take it, and just hope that we go back up and get targets. And we're back. We're one pip away now from targets. See if we can just push through this uh, this final bit. I'm going to watch it this time, make sure it, uh, it actually takes. Come on, one more pip. I'm going to check the spread when this uh, hits again. Let's have a look, euro dollar, not point 0.2. There you go, and this time it's taken. Oh well, we got there in the end. We'll hold for target twos now. A little update on this violation trade. Uh, what we've now done is we've now put in a new high. We've actually closed above um, the previous new high. So if we make a new high here and pull back and uh, I'll then be able to move my stop up a little bit here and um, get um, bank, bank some profit. Um, oh yeah, what, what I forgot to mention in the first part of the video was um, this highlighted area that you see here, which was my kill zone, which is in between these two lines. Those two lines are actually the wicks of the um, structure level that had been violated. I think I'd, I'd, I'd missed that out as one of the uh, really, really important pieces of criteria. And as you can see here, Here's the highest point of the wick and the lowest point of the uh, the lowest point of the wick, I suppose, the close of the candle. Um, and so anywhere really within that kill zone, I was looking for that higher, higher, higher close. So I just thought uh, I would add that to the video um, targets. I, I will be monitoring these as we go up, particularly as we come up to the uh, one eighteen hundred level. Now on the four hourly, the daily, and and obviously the hourly. Um, all three or four structure levels that are up there have hit um, this higher structure level above the 1800. It's not been respected that well. It's only been respected on the daily, but on each of the tests on the daily, we did spike up past it. So as we approach that level, um, I'll be monitoring, see how price reacts. And, and on top of that as well, my targets have checked based on the four hourly closes will still get hit. So it's just something that I'll monitor. So, um, I'm just going to make make a note of that um, as we approach that. So money to 118 trail stops. So okay, I don't need that anymore. I've told you about the about that. So okay, it's getting late. So this will be a trade that we'll look at tomorrow. Would be awesome to bank these extra pips. 67. Uh, haven't had a violation trade in a while, and would be uh, really good to log this down in my journal as a violation trade for this month. We're back on the euro dollar for an update and currently 44 pips up. 
um, we have been basically moving sideways over the uh, overnight it's now just gone eight o'clock and we've had this hourly candle close so we've had a big pin bar here we didn't make a new high with it but with that pin bar we're only seven minutes into the hour and we've seen quite a big rally here and so I want to monitor as we approach this one eighteen hundred flat and just the way the candlestick formations are looking and this initial rally we're getting where even if we pull back this is going to be a higher high obviously don't know how it's going to close just this is just looking like we are going to push higher so for now what I'm going to do is just move my stop to there give this thing plenty of room so we've banked um, 11 pips of profit and just see if we can um, easily surpass that one eighteen hundred flat um, if we get a strong close like this I would assume that we're going to get it uh, but we'll come back and see and we're back for the final part of the video and we did get quite a major reaction here from that one eighteen hundred let me just go to the 60 minute time frame um, I've now exited the position and you can see what had happened here is we came right up we tested it instant rejection look at the 15 minute time frame and this was the uh, structure level here that I was paying attention to and if I leave my crosshairs there you can actually see that we broke below and we closed below it with a big bearish candle so um, all the way through this video my concern was the 11800 it hadn't been respected that well in the past um, and so it was something I wanted to monitor and um, the market now could quite easily come down to here stop and then rally all the way back up but nevertheless rules are rules and um, I've exited the position there for secondary targets for 22 pips